Welcome to the Up and Running with WordPress video series. In this video, I'll be going over how to install WordPress on a local MAMP server. I'm Casey Friday from Friday Next WordPress Development, and you can find me on the web at friday-next.com. Before we get started, let's go over today's objectives. First, we want to download and install MAMP. MAMP stands for Apache, MySQL, and PHP. In most cases, when it's called MAMP, the starting M stands for Mac, and then WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. LAMP is Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So in this case, we'll be using MAMP. Next, we'll be downloading and installing WordPress, and then we'll want to connect WordPress to our MAMP installation and build with WordPress locally. So let's get started by downloading MAMP. To download MAMP, you'll go to MAMP.info. Then you'll download it underneath the gray icon, install MAMP, and change the MySQL root password, which is set to root by default, to anything different than that. And then we want to add the htdocs folder as a sidebar favorite. So let's get started with those tasks. First, we'll go to map.info, and you'll see it is filled in this slash en because I am in the United States. Underneath this gray icon, we're going to click the download button. Once you've downloaded map, you will see this pkg file in your downloads folder. Go ahead and click on that and go through the install process just like you would with any other installation. This will ask for your admin password for the computer and then it will perform the installation of MAMP and MAMP Pro. You'll notice that we only clicked underneath MAMP here, not MAMP Pro, yet it still downloaded both of them. This is nice because when you first set it up, you will have access to both MAMP and MAMP Pro, and you can evaluate and see if MAMP Pro is worth it to you. I do suggest buying MAMP Pro as I use quite a few of the features that MAMP Pro offers, and it is $59 for Mac OS X and $29 as an upgrade if you already have another version of MAMP. So now that MAMP has been installed successfully, let's close this window and open MAMP. You'll notice that in our Applications folder, it is now right here. We'll go inside the MAMP folder and double click on MAMP. And you'll see that it says, MAMP Pro is installed. Do you want to launch MAMP Pro instead? Let's do go ahead and launch MAMP Pro so you can get, get a better idea of exactly what it has to offer. And when we click that, you'll see that it needs to initialize some of its components. So let's go ahead and hit OK and enter in the admin password again. You'll have to enter your admin password a couple more times before this process is over, but go ahead and hit OK here. Now I suggest checking out MAMP Pro, but this video series will not require MAMP Pro. So everything I'm doing now you can do with just regular MAMP and you don't have to have MAMP Pro purchased. But the first thing we'll do is go into the MySQL tab and change the password. Now we're going to try to change that to up and running just for the purposes of this tutorial. Yet when we hit change, you'll notice that it's going to give us an error saying checking MySQL database has failed. If it says it can't connect to the MySQL server, it makes sense because you look at this MySQL item and it is not checked. So we need to go ahead and turn the server on first. And once we turn the server on, we should now be able to change our password. So let's type up and running. And now the password has been successfully changed. So the next step will be to add the htdocs folder as a sidebar favorite. If you're in Windows, you can add this as an explorer favorite. So inside this MAMP folder, again, this is an applications MAMP. This is the htdocs folder. This is where all of your site files will live. So inside this folder, you can have multiple WordPress folders that have different names for different websites you're working on. What we want to do is save this folder in the sidebar so that we can have easy access to it in the future when we're working on our websites. Simply drag it over and there it is now. You have access to this htdocs folder so you can edit your theme files or plugin files, whatever you need to do to get your WordPress site customized just the way you want. Now that MAMP is set up and installed, we want to download WordPress. You can download WordPress at wordpress.org and you'll simply click on the download WordPress 4.2.2. That's the current version, but you can click on whichever version it is at any point in time. Then you'll move that zip archive that you've downloaded into the htdocs folder we just favorited and extract it. And then you'll rename that folder to your site's name. So this will be up and running for this tutorial. So at wordpress.org, you see this download WordPress 4.2.2 button. We'll click on that. And then we're taken to another screen which has that button again right here. So go ahead and click that. And you'll see the download is quite fast as it's a small file. And there is that zip folder inside your downloads. So we're going to take that and drag it into this htdocs folder. Now remember from before, this is applications, MAMP, htdocs. So here's our WordPress 4.2.2 zip file. Double click it to extract it. And depending on whatever extracting tool you're using, you might have to click extract. 
it might just go ahead and extract for you. Once it's extracted, you can either leave this zip file in here for future WordPress installs or delete it, drag it to the trash can, it's your choice. But we will rename this folder from WordPress to up and running. So now that we've renamed this WordPress folder, we're ready to set up our MySQL database. What we want to do is create a database using SQL Pro, which is a program that comes with MAMP when you install it. You'll set a database name, username, and password in wp-config-sample.php inside our WordPress folder we just extracted. And then we'll rename that file to wp-config.php so that WordPress actually sees it as the configuration file for that WordPress install. The first thing we want to do is create a database for this website. In MAMP Pro, if you're in the MySQL tab, you'll see this SQL Pro button. This is the application that comes bundled with MAMP Pro, so once you click on it, it will open up your local host databases. So now this is the grouping of all the databases that are installed on this local MAMP installation. Since we don't have the database we want, we're gonna choose this dropdown that says choose database and click add database. For ease of understanding, we will also call this up and running and then hit the add button. So now we will go back into our up and running folder, which is our WordPress folder that we simply renamed. And we're gonna open up the wp-config-sample.php file. So this file you will see has database name, username, password, and it's already set to localhost. Now, if you remember in SQL Pro, localhost is the correct name of the host that we're working with. So we're gonna leave that the same, but we'll change the database name to up and running and the database username is root as you remember the mysql username and password are both set to root when you install MAMP and that's why we change the database password to up and running the final thing you can do in this configuration file is go to this link here to generate WordPress salts and then go into your browser paste that link and then copy the output of that and replace these values with what you've copied from the web. This keeps your site a bit more secure and there are several, several plugins that you can install that will keep these up to date and changed quite often. So hit Command S to save that and then Command W to close that window. You can also close this window with the WordPress salts. So now that those values are saved, you can hover over this WP config sample and click on it. And then we want to remove the dash sample out of this file. So now WordPress will be looking at this file for its configuration values. So let's take another look at MAMP. If we go to the host section of MAMP Pro, you'll notice that the server name is localhost. We've talked about that a couple times, whereas the MySQL database, the host name is localhost, and here you'll see that the server name is localhost. If you click on the general tab, you'll see that the default port for connections is 8888. So now that we've set up this WordPress website and we've connected it to the database inside our MAMP installation, if we open a new tab and type localhost colon 8888 slash up and running, then we should find our WordPress installation waiting to be installed. Here it is. I'll select the language and I'll put a couple of dummy values in here. Now you can either type in a password or you can use LastPass to generate a password. I highly suggest using LastPass to keep all of your passwords secure. It's very easy to set this up. We'll save it as a new entry and call this up and running site. Save the site. Enter your email and uncheck the allow search engines to index the site button. If you have for some reason changed some of your MAMP settings to allow this to reach the outside web and you have this allow search engines to index the site option checked, then you might be inviting search engines to come into your local computer and you don't want to do that. So keep this unchecked and once you upload your WordPress website live to the web, you'll go into your general settings and change this so that you are allowing search engines to index it. Once we hit install WordPress, you'll see that it has been installed. We'll hit log in, and I will use LastPass to find up and running site and log in. And here's our WordPress website. So the next step is to start building with WordPress. Your site is fully installed, so you can now use themes, you can install plugins, you can customize anything you want, and it's all on your local machine. No need to worry about making any mistakes on a live install. In a future video, we'll talk about how to migrate your local website to a live server and get everything transferred over perfectly, including the domain name switches and everything that'll make your WordPress website work great. I'm Casey Friday from Friday Next WordPress Development at friday-next.com. Thanks for watching.